Get ready to see animals possessed, nightcrawlers and bears doing things you didn't think they could do. Whatever you do, watch till the end, and you'll be glad you did. We start today's video with a feud between a cat and a dog, only this is the wild version of the fights between our domesticated cats and dogs. Bobcats and coyotes are neighbors who more often than not fight over resources and territories in their region. Although the coyote is simply bigger, the bobcat, like all cats, is not intimidated by its size. I mean, if you've seen house cats take on horses, then you'll understand this. This trail cam footage caught sight of the two animals fighting over a meal. It's a known tactic between the two, and this bobcat in question has been doing this for days. The coyote has had enough at this point and didn't mind making the bobcat a part of its meal. Recognizing this, the bobcat did what any self-respecting bobcat would do. It retreated. Have you ever been disadvantaged while doing something and used it as an excuse to quit? Well, meet Monsieur Pussycat who had all reasons to give up on his life. Watching the video for a few more minutes, you'll realize that Monsieur Pussycat has only three legs. Despite this, it's taken up the role of protecting its territory and all within it. This fox found that out the hard way. It visited Monsieur Pussycat's territory to steal an egg. Eggs are some of the favorite things foxes like to eat. But today was not going to be business as usual for Mr. Fox. As you can see in the footage, the cat's standing over a plate with what looks to be an egg on it. A fox comes by and attempts to take the egg, but the cat was not going to have any of that. It takes a defensive stance and fends off the fox despite having only three legs. If this cat teaches us anything, it's that attitude matters a lot. I'm pretty sure that the fox was very confused and didn't know how to process it all. In the end, the fox retreated and the cat emerged victorious. Wait till the other foxes find out that the three-legged cat defeated it. It won't live it down in its lifetime. Bigfoot, Bigfoot, Bigfoot. We just can't get enough of the enigmatic creature. It's said to share the likeness of a human and an ape, and the mention of its name always leads to a heated debate in the paranormal community. Some claim that the various bits of footage we have seen of the creature so far are nothing but a hoax, while others strongly subscribe to the idea that they're real. But what do you think? Before you give your opinion, you might want to judge this footage and then judge for yourself. This trail cam footage surfaced in 2010 after the owner realized he'd actually recorded something interesting walking through the woods. Look carefully. It looks like an ape-like creature due to its physique and fur. A second look at it, however, will also reveal its human-like mannerisms and even moves like one. Despite the marriage of all these features, it's hard to call it human given all the fur it has, and also hard to call it an ape given its human-like features. What then is it? Your guess is as good as mine. Bigfoot? Some don't think so and say it could be a person in a costume, but I highly doubt that. Others claim it's edited footage, which isn't impossible, but I don't think it is. I really do believe this is one of the earlier footages of Bigfoot. Beyond the description I've given so far, it's said to be around 8 feet tall. How many humans do you know that are that tall? One of the scariest things is the unknown. You know that feeling when you're in the dark alone, but you feel another presence beside you and you can't make out what it is. Well, this trail cam footage is a typical example. In it, we see a fox scouting a field in the dark. But look closely, there's more. Just behind the fox in the darkness, we see two eyes that appear mysteriously and are about the size of a human. The fox notices the mysterious and ominous presence and looks in that direction. It tries to make it out, but isn't sure what to do. It stares in confusion as it sees eyes from behind the bushes, but isn't quite sure what to make of it. And just like the fox, we're left wondering, what is this mysterious presence? Analyzing the footage, I'm very sure the creature is at least six feet tall. Could we be possibly looking at another Bigfoot scenario? Well, we can't say for sure, but whatever was lurking in the shadows is surely bad news. You wouldn't want it following you. Running into unidentified creatures can be very nerve-wracking, especially if they're deadly looking and have the potential to harm you. This was exactly how the owners of this footage felt when they ran into the dead creature in the footage. It didn't look anything like they'd encountered before, and they were also not particularly sure what it was. Looking at it now, I'm convinced it might be a mole or a sloth even, but I can't say for sure what it is. Can you help out? What do you think they're dealing with here? 
A normal everyday creature that we're finding hard to identify, or a mutated creature that could potentially prove harmful to us? Kindly share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Bears are great climbers, especially when it comes to their food, and this trail cam video does not say otherwise. At first glance, you might think the bear just climbed the tree to perform a stunt on the rope above, but a closer look will reveal that there is a dead bird on the rope. But forget the bird. Did you know bears could climb that? Bear in mind, this is not a circus bear. It's not been trained to do that. Pun intended. Somehow, the bear was able to get up the tree, navigate the rope, and hang on with its bare teeth. These creatures can weigh up to 500 to 600 pounds. If you understand that, you should know that this is no mean feat. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't make it to its goal and falls just before reaching its price. If you ever have to get away from a bear, let this video teach you not to climb trees in an attempt to get away. Even ropes are not safe. This is one of the cutest things you will ever see. This panda bear is climbing a tree that clearly cannot hold its weight. It balances its arms on one branch and its legs on a rather smaller branch, which immediately snaps, leaving the panda swinging from the tree with its arms. But it looks like this cutie is determined to remain on that tree, so it latches its legs onto another branch. After finding a comfortable position to remain on the tree, the panda relaxes and basks in the cold snow falling. Who said brown bears were the only good climbing bears? Lynx are majestic creatures of the snow. They're found in the northern parts of America, mostly in places where there is an abundance of snowshoe hair, aka their favorite delicacy. They belong to the feline family and are nocturnal, but you can't deny seeing them during the day with their fur in the sunlight is just mesmerizing. Oh, what I wouldn't give for one of these cats. They're as graceful as they are beautiful. But should you see one in the wild, do the needful thing and keep your distance. Beautiful and majestic or not, they're still wild animals and should be considered as such. I guess this footage is the classic example of a hide-and-seek game gone wrong. These two bear cubs were playing in a tree trunk that had a huge hole in it. The hole was big enough for the cubs to fit in them, but unfortunately they got stuck. The scared cubs let out cries for help, most likely hoping their mum would come for them. She never did perhaps because she didn't hear them or didn't know where they were. Fortunately, the owner of the property did. Seeing what was wrong, he realized that there was no way he could defuse the situation. He then called in the experts who got there as soon as they could. Once they were there, they cut bigger holes in the trunk, which were big enough for the cubs to escape. Once they felt safe, the naughty cubs ran out of the tree and headed for the woods. Mama Bear is surely gonna scold them, but when she realizes why they were late, she should be grateful that they're alive at least. Any paranormal enthusiast may think that this deer is possessed by some form of demon or something. Another might even suspect that it might be the mysterious deer lady who is known for seducing and murdering unsuspecting men. I at one point thought so too. But taking a deeper, closer look, it becomes apparent that there is nothing supernatural happening here. No lighting, strange sounds, or transformations are happening. The deer is actually sick. At that point, the footage becomes a very sad one. This deer looks to be panting and rolling around in the grass, but is not having fun. It's suffering from chronic wasting disease. This disease usually affects moose, deer, elk, and reindeer and was detected in the USA, Canada, South Korea, and Norway. The disease affects the brain and spine of these animals. It's caused by certain proteins called prions that attack other proteins in the brain and spine. It affects just the cervid family, which means cattle are excluded. This disease does not have a cure and takes about a year to finally weaken and kill its victim. The deer you see struggling here is unfortunately in its last stages, and it keeps struggling until it falls out of exhaustion and finally dies. A moment of silence for the deer. Humans are often quick to make a fuss over things they don't understand. The owner of this footage was driving one night when he came across a strange-looking animal crossing its path. The animal looks so strange that it's difficult to tell its head from its tail. So the curious driver got down to take a better look at the creature and realized it was two animals in one. As strange as it may seem, the creature was actually carrying another dead animal on its back. It's difficult to see this in the footage, but the animal appears to have sharply pointed ears like those of a wolf or coyote, as if it's carrying a midnight snack on its back. So there's no need to panic, folks. This isn't an alien or an unknown mystical creature, but we have to wonder, how did that creature end up on its back? 
What do you see? A hairless dog or a chupacabra? This pale, hairless creature was spotted in a field in Missouri. The hairless creature looks like a dog. Some have speculated that the creature may be a type of dog, but no one has confirmed this by examining the animal close up. As someone who's interested in paranormal phenomena, even I find it hard to believe that this is a chupacabra. But what do you think this animal is? A stray dog or the infamous chuppy? Imagine you owned a flock of sheep and woke up one morning to see them doing this. If you're as suspicious as I am, your first conclusion would be a spirit came and possessed your sheep or something. The flock started going in circles without any reason. The farmer who owned them thought nothing of it. Initially, it started with just a couple of them going in circles, but after a whole week, all the sheep had joined in on the circus act going around in a circle. Naturally, the farmer was alarmed, but there was nothing to help this sheep. He even had no explanation for the behavior. Could it be that they were worshipping some unseen being? Well, we'll never know. But we do know this. Scientists suspect that the sheep might have been suffering from a bacterial disease known as listeriosis that causes similar symptoms in sheep with depression, fever, and in extreme situations, paralysis in tow. In fact, it is the circling disease. The illness is transmitted through contaminated animal food, soil, and, well, feces. So, mystery solved? Well, not exactly. Sheep suffering from this condition die off within 48 hours, but these sheep continued for at least a week or more. Could it have been something entirely different? Was there really some demonic power at play? Well, we'll never know. But what do you think? This hairless creature was spotted by a group of men. Since they didn't know if the creature was harmful or harmless, they decided to beat it up. The animal had brown skin with sharp claws and teeth, so I get why the men were intimidated by it, but that's still not enough to justify harming the creature since it didn't pose any threat to them. When experts were called in to investigate the situation, they found out that the creature was actually a bear, a Malayan sun bear. These bears are actually smaller and can only reach a maximum of 28 inches in height and weigh a maximum of 143 pounds in weight. The men who might not have known this almost beat the poor creature to death through no fault of it. Shame on those men. Fortunately, the experts were able to nurse the animal to health and release it into the wild where it belonged. In the green lands of southwest Victoria, an unknown creature was spotted. The creature was moving on all fours like a fox or wolf. The top part of its fur was brown and its lower back was striped. This creature resembled a thylacine, an animal that had become extinct in the 1900s. The thylacine was also known as the Tasmanian wolf because it looked like one, and sometimes also referred to as the Tasmanian tiger because of the stripes on its back were like that of a tiger. The last of its kind died in the zoo in the year 1936, which makes the sighting of this new creature quite profound. If this turns out to be true, which I hope it is, then this is big news. It makes me wonder what other extinct species are waiting to be discovered. This next footage is a bit unusual. A woman came across the carcass of this dead but unusual creature. Not knowing what she was seeing, she called in experts to come to take a look at the creature, fearing it might be something undocumented or unknown. It looks like a reptile and was four feet long. The creature had a snout and a long tail with claws. It appeared shrunken and dry. It could be a Komodo dragon or a monitor lizard, but if not, it might be an unknown creature in the bushes. What do you think? Ever heard of spirit guides or, in this case, spirit protectors? This footage was taken at a national park in Fresno. These ghost-like skinny creatures were spotted walking in the night in the park. They looked like a body without arms and heads, just legs and white pants. These entities are actually nothing new in Fresno. They're said to be ancient spirits that roam in the forest to protect and even pose no danger to humans. They're also called night crawlers, so if you spot any of these, don't sweat it. You're probably in good hands. Note the word probably. Aside from all the scary and mysterious creatures that lurk in the wild, there is still a sight of nature that is so calming and satisfying. Take a look at this trail cam footage. These curious bears look like they want to take a selfie. They go straight to the trail camp and briefly sniff it before continuing their journey. Mama Bear was going through the woods with her cubs in tow. They seemed well behaved and followed Mama Bear until Junior discovered the trail camera. Potterman realized he could become a scientist or a cinematographer. He starts examining his future equipment and eventually drops it to the ground. 
After a few minutes, he joins his mum and siblings as though nothing had happened. I'm pretty sure the claws did not leave the camera in good shape either. What would you have done if that was your camera? As you think about it, we draw our curtains for today's video here. See you in the next one.